Well, I gotta say, I'm impressed. These are the Double Masters UPC VIP Redemption Packs. You get one of these for every UPC that you send into Wizards of the Coast. These came in a really timely manner. I'm actually really impressed with this. We're gonna talk about how I got these packs in this video, and then obviously we're gonna crack them open, and you know if it's Jake and Joel or Magic, you know that if there are packs, there is juice. Yeah, I mean, this is a beer, but essentially there's a lime in there, so there is some juice. Let's crack open some Double Masters packs, and then also we're gonna crack open some promo packs. On this episode of Juice and Packs on this Thursday, we're just gonna hang out. The video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. For a limited time only, if you join the Patreon at any level, you will receive a holographic Jake and Joel R. Magic logo sticker. Link in the description below. Hello. Welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel, our magic today. It is an episode of Juice and Packs. These packs arrived from Wizards of the Coast in this envelope here in a pretty timely manner. I ordered these. I was buying the Double Masters VIP booster boxes in August, and I would have sent out those UPCs in August. These arrived just a few days ago, so just a little over a month it took for these to arrive. So very impressed about that. If you like these videos where we open packs and we have fun and we just hang out, I encourage you Click like, click subscribe, it's the best way to support the channel with just the click of a button. And it is Juice and Packs, and if you don't know about Juice and Packs, what that means is it's all about the ritual. We're letting these packs marinate, I got them a couple days ago, I haven't touched them. And now it's time to crack them, we're gonna see if we get anything good. Same with these, so just do not be confused, these did not come with this. These were from the LGS. They had a promotion going on where if you bought a box for every $30 you spend, they were giving out a promo pack. They were randomized, but clearly I did well as two of them are foil. Hopefully we pull something spicy in these as well. So very quickly before we open these, I'm going to talk about this. I'll tell you exactly how I got these packs in case there's anybody who's sitting on UPCs. All of this is in the description of the video as well if you want to go down there and you can find the uh, the post and the article. But I didn't even contact Wizards of the Coast. I simply followed the instructions. Uh, I sent all of the UPCs. I tracked them so that I could make sure that it was tracked. It cost me $4.20 to send it to the address. I saw that it was delivered just a couple days later and I haven't really thought about it. I just out of sight, out of mind. They instruct you to put an index card with your name and address on it. I did that as well. And now without any notification or tracking, this has just arrived. I'm sure if you send an email, they might update you by email. I didn't even do that. I didn't even send a phone number. I simply sent nine clipped UPCs off of the Double Masters VIP booster boxes. And I just put them in like a little penny sleeve, just like this, nine of them all together. And they sent me these. And so, uh, I mean, these are essentially $12 a pack. They sent me nine of them. This is like $108 in product right here. You know, and this is all because if you aren't familiar with it, I'm gonna give you the TLDR. Wizards of the Coast had weird wording on the Double Masters VIP packs that led people to believe that you could get in the uh, foil slot, the foil rare slot, and the, the showcase slot. People believed that you could get, even though they never explicitly said this, like four mythic Double Masters VIP pack. So like, for example, some people thought and I'm included in this, that you could get like Mana Crypt, Mana Crypt, Force of Will, Force of Will, and that's just not the case. There was never two Mythics in the foil slot, and there was never two Mythics in the showcase slot. It led to a debacle that was just like, well, we're going to give out Double Masters uh, regular booster packs for anybody who bought a Double Masters VIP pack. Sorry about the confusion. This is really cool. Like I said, this is over $100 in product right here. I guess let's go ahead and crack open some cards. We're just gonna take a sip of our juice. <laughs> I hope we get something good. Oddly, this is really funny. They were all in order. Three Dark Confidants, a couple Worm Coils, some Breos, and then we'll just open these whenever throughout. Let's, let's uh, put Dark Confidant in the middle. So our juice today is a Pacifico with lime. It's just a nice, light, refreshing, crisp beer. You put a lime in there and it really gives it this nice, I don't know, citrusy, refreshing, hot ocean day. Oh yeah, that's fresh. Let's open a pack. All right. So 
So these packs are worth about 108 bucks. Let's see if we can open something that makes it worth it. And we're not just opening opening these for nothing. All right, here we go. Double Masters packs. I thought I was done opening these, but happy juice and packs. I am happy to actually get uh, some of these cards in non-foil because I opened so many of the Double Masters VIP packs and a lot of those foils, sadly, um, will curl. Ooh, Bliette. Ooh, Bliette. That's being staged. That's a card. All right, here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. Arexamethes. Arexamethes. Why can't I pronounce it? Slumbering Isle. So, first couple rares, not super exciting. And we do have a foil. It is an Iron League Steed. Followed by a foil Wound Reflection. That is a nice spicy EDH card. Very excited about that. One black, five other. At the be beginning of each end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost this turn. I really like to play this card alongside Havoc Festival in my Karavik EDH deck. You get the picture. Alright, so first pack, pretty good. I am excited about that. Let's, uh, let's keep this going. Get this out of here. And I probably need to uh, clean up my piles, right? Here we go. Let's just put the rares here. We've got uncommons, foils, commons, rares. These cards are trying to escape. Let's get through the, uh, the commons here. Nobody cares about the commons. We find a Vampire Hex Mage, very good, relevant card. There are very good uncommons in this set. Path to Exile, no exception there. Rush of Knowledge. And it is a regular Wound Reflection, so all of the Wound Reflections in, this, uh, in these packs. It is a Rolling Earthquake. So not super big heat here, but a very good card. One red and X, Rolling Earthquake deals X damage to each creature without horsemanship and each player horsemanship, if you're not familiar, is very rare to see on cards these days. Thraben Inspector. This is a uh, very nice Pioneer playable card. Played a lot in Standard when it was in Standard. So a couple very chill packs there. A couple very... Very chill foils, I mean. All right, Brea. Do me well. I'm gonna take a sip. Take a sip of the beverage. Here we go. So it's Thursday. We're just uh, opening some packs today. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. We have Commander Legends. That is at the forefront of everybody's mind now. Everybody is stoked on Commander Legends. Zendikar has come and gone. Everyone has seen the expeditions. It's still fun to watch people crack collector packs, but everybody's thinking about Commander Legends. What are the new cards going to be? All right, find Trash for Treasure. This is a good card. I like this card a lot. Find Thirst for Knowledge. Let's. Can we just get like a nice spicy mythic? I want one spicy mythic. Ooh, Ad Nauseam. Very good, relevant, rare. It's a nice, notable card. I know the price is probably adjusted since a lot of this card's price was um, <clears throat> due to scarcity. However, this card is very, very popular in EDH. And we find Sharoon. This card downshifted in rarity. I do, uh, I used to play this in EDH. This card is very, very fun. And we find Goblin Gavalier. Gavalier. Come on, something spicy. It is a puzzle knot. 
and we are not super excited about it. And then we find a Sapperling token. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot enters the battlefield. You lose life and uh, you draw a card and lose a life. I mean, it's not bad. It is not bad. It's good and limited, but not super, not super excited about it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Last Brea pack. Let's get something good. And then we've got five packs after this. Again, we're trying to hit that $108 mark, which is what all these packs were worth. Otherwise, we should have kept them sealed, but you know what? They were they were given to us for free. I mean, we did have to buy in to the uh, the debacle that was uh, Double Masters VIP shenanigans. But a lot of those were really, really, really good. Really, really good products. I opened a lot of good cards in those. But I do understand why people had a problem with it. Masterwork of Ingenuity, this is a card you may have it. Enter the battlefield as a copy of any equipment on the battlefield for one very strong card. I'm pretty sure this is a rare that has a nice price point. And then we find a Glimmer Void, another nice relevant rare. This card kind of fallen out of being best in slot in like Affinity. And again, we don't have a lot of people playing modern and paper and stuff. Then we have a Metallic Rebuke Foil. So this is actually a, uh, a relevant foil. Followed by a Galvanic Blast, also a relevant foil. Again, these foils in this set, though, so, so overprinted because of Double Masters VIP. A lot of these foils don't hold much of a price difference uh, between the non-foils. And a lot of people who play competitively want the non-foils because they don't curl. However, these right out of the pack, there is no curl on them, so I do encourage you, if you do value your foils, put them into sleeves very quickly after you open. All right, five packs left. Time for a Dark Confidant. Here we go. What do we feel? I feel like we're going to get a spicy foil in this. I, I just, I don't know. I have like a feeling. Sometimes I put it out into the universe, and sometimes it happens. All right, here we go. Let's get through these commons. And there are really good commons in here. Again, like Urza Lands. <clears throat> All right, Thopter Engineer. It's a Treasure Keeper. It's Lightning Greaves. I mean, like... I mean, it's just such a sick common to pull out of a booster pack. Or a sick uncommon. And we do have a Mesmeric Orb. This is a card that's making waves in Modern right now. Uh, now that Ruin Crab has just been printed, people are playing Mesmeric Orb to great effect. The thing about Mesmeric Orb and why it's so good in Mill, this is one of the few cards, if your opponent is able to resolve a Leyline of Sanctity, this is one of the cards that's going to continue to mill them out as they tap their permanents. So it's uh, one of the few ways to get around it, um, get around Leyline, and it's now, because Ruin Crab has been printed, uh, it's given the deck a lot of gas. Very good card, though. And then this is actually a card I do not have. Brutaclad, Telcor Engineer. Pretty cool card. I am a fan. And then we do find a Lightning Axe. Oh, that's such a cool foil. Just like... You just see the foil sheet there. That's sick. <clears throat> All right, come on. Spicy foil, let's go. Let's go, spicy foil. It's a little cast down. All right, so not the spice that we were hoping for, but we did find some fun stuff. All right, we've got four Double Masters packs left. We're going to take a sip of our drink. This is juice in packs. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Nice and sweet. The juice is refreshing. All right, let's open. Uh, let's open this non-foil core twenty-one promo pack here. Let's see what's in this. Let's see what this is all about. I haven't played, and it, you have to keep in mind, 
Like these were normally going to be given out in sealed tournaments, or uh, these were normally going to be given out for limited stuff, uh, playing in the store. But stores aren't. Ooh, that's a good way to start things off. But stores aren't doing a lot of um, paper tournaments right now, so LGS is figuring out different ways to to do this. I this is my first Teferi Master of Time, so Midnight Reaper promo. That's very cool. Then we have Heartfire Immolator, one red, one other prowess sacrifice it. It deals damage equal its power to target creature or planeswalker, but then obviously the Teferi with the little promo stamp. Not gonna complain about that. So far, this might be the spiciest pack out of everything that we've opened out of all of these double masters packs. We'll go ahead and put this uh, up here. Pretty cool. And then there is also a code. First to go get it. I don't even know what it is, but you may have it. Go run to the skies. All right, I feel like that's a good omen. That's a good good reason to go back to double masters. Here we go. Let's let's can we just open like a force. We just open like a foil mana crypt randomly. That would be the nuts. That would be what we really want. Just like something completely out of left field. There we go. Gelatinous Genesis. Which is what I eat for breakfast. Mistress Factory. Which is where I go during the day. And Jorah's Familiar, which is what I communicate with. And we do find Shamanic Revelation. This is easily the best card in the set. I cannot believe that we pulled it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Two green, three other sorcery. Draw a card for each creature you control. Ferocious. You gain four life for each creature you control with power four or greater. I mean, the juice is just on our side today. We pulled... Oh my gosh. Shamanic Revelation. This is amazing. I might have to do a giveaway. I might give this away out of the kindness of my heart. And then a Hannah Ships Navigator. Very cool card. And the foils. It is an Ancestral Blade. Followed by a clear shot. Ooh. Oh, man. What a absolute god pack. When you pull the Shamanic Revelation, oh, man, there's nothing you can really do. But just kind of be in the in the awe of all of it. I mean, even if these packs were complete duds, you know, and they're not going to be after pulling Shamanic Revelation. They were sent to me after I had already paid the money for a product that I was pretty happy about in the uh, in the end. If you were buying Double Masters VIP packs, ooh, another oubliette, that's cool. If you were buying Double Masters VIP packs um, and you weren't buying the sealed box and you were just buying straight packs, there was definitely a chance for you to get like Goblin Guide Expedition Map and totally, totally lose out. But I never, ever saw a booster box, which was, to be clear, four VIP booster packs. I never saw one that was absolutely devastatingly bad. If you did, let me know. Sunken Ruins, there we go. Now we're talking. Pretty good card. Followed by a Lux Cannon downshifted from Mythic. Kind of a fun card, though. Do you find a Foil Bone Picker? Followed by a, by a Foil Path to Exile. Followed by, followed by, I forget how to talk. No, this is a fun little, uh, fun little foil here. And the quality actually looks really good. No curling. Really nice card. Can't complain about Foil Path. These packs have been pretty humble. The Double Masters packs have, anyway. Do we go back over here? Let's do the Ikoria Foil Promo Pack. I'm feeling it. We're going to take a sip of the juice. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's good. It's so late. It's so late over here. I'm, like tired, but I'm gonna need to edit. All right, here we go. There we go. Here we go. We are opening it. Okay. 
Okay, so these are going to be all foils. All right, foil steam vents. Yeah, seems good. Seems very nice. That is very cool. That is beautiful. I love this card so much. I do I do not have a foil of this version of Steam Vents. I do have a Japanese Return to Ravnica foil. Foil Migration Path and a foil Mythos of Iluna. Create a token that's a copy of target permanent if red and green was spent to cast a spell instead create a token that's a copy of that permanent except the token has when this permanent enters the battlefield if it's a creature it fights up to one target creature you don't control so very interesting blue card again you do have to be teamer if you want to get the full effect but uh wow those packs have been good we've got two double masters packs left is this one going to be good? Can the two worm coil packs just be like absolute heat? I think we need them to be. I think we do. We're going to let this marinate. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Here we go. We're so deep in. We really need these ones to be a little bit, a little bit spicier, but we have got some good packs. Here we go. We get a mythic. Can we get one mythic? Just one? One mythic. One mythic in nine packs, please. Find Sift. We did pull that clutch shamanic revelation. Oh man. Find another hex mage. Nice relevant card. The salt monolith. Now we're talking. These are good uncommons that we're seeing. There's for knowledge. It's a savage born hydra, followed by. Aris the Redeemed. So pretty good card. Very, very strong card. I don't know if it has a huge price point, but it is definitely 0% a jank rare. This is a very, very, very strong card. Do find a foil Ancestral Blade and the slow reveal. Can it be blue? It is an artifact. Whew. Okay. Artifact means it could be something really spicy come on it's an s it's a spring leaf drum oh we wanted that to be an m followed by an a followed by an n and then another a all right not a bad not a bad foil all right here we go what do we do we're gonna take a second we have two things left to open these right here this is it that's what we have left. I'm stepping away just for a moment. I have to uh, have a safety meeting in the kitchen. All right, here we go. It's the last of the juice. We're finishing it. It has been fun. You know what? Let's do the foil promo pack. These have been good for us, and then I feel like we're going to have something epic in the close. Let's see if we can get there. We're going to see if we can get there. Here we go. All right, here we go, slow reveal. Core 2021 promo pack. Oh, let's flip it. It is a double vision. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. I do love a card like this for EDH. It's not super great and standard in my opinion, but for EDH, not bad. And we do find a frantic inventory, followed by a foil, the Elder Spell from War of the Spark. So this was a card that had a lot of hype and a lot of anticipation around it. Uh, there were some people that spec this card. Rip anybody who is specking um, standard cards. I would just say it is not a safe investment to throw a lot of your money. And capital into stuff that 
can be reprinted at any point in time. Here we go. The final pack of Juice and Packs UPC VIP Redemption. Here we go. Again, very cool of Watsy to do this. To send something out. Here we go. Spell bomb. Let's get to those uncommons. Here we go. Painsmith. Looking for something epic in the close for the juice. And the packs. It is a braids. Followed by a voice. Downshifted from Mythic. But a very good card. Can we get one exceptional foil? It is a Balduvian Rage, followed by. Oh, it is an artifact. Oh my gosh. Can we just have redemption here? Can we have the redemption? that we're looking for it is an accomplished automaton that is not a mana crypt if you like the video click like click subscribe until next time i'm jake with jake and jeweler magic i hope you enjoyed this episode of juice and packs it looks like i should have kept the packs sealed but you know what whatever it was fun i had fun did you have fun the video's over